I'm going to walk you through two methods for getting these files from Dropbox to your iPad and Procreate. The first option is if you're opening this Dropbox file from your Mac computer. And the second option is if you're opening this Dropbox file from your iPad itself. Let's do Mac to iPad first because this is the fastest and easiest. If you're watching this class right now on your Mac computer and you have your iPad in front of you to follow along, then the simplest way to get these files to your iPad is to airdrop them from your computer to your iPad. AirDrop is a file sharing feature that only works with Apple products. So this will only work if you're going from Mac to iPad. If that's the case, then open the Dropbox link on your computer and just hit download. Remember, you don't need a Dropbox account to do this. So if you get a prompt to sign into Dropbox, just ignore it. Everything will download in a zip file. So find your downloads folder and just click that zip to unpack it. Now you can go through each folder and send those files to your iPad. It's super easy if you have a Mac because you can just select all of your swatches and then airdrop them all at once. Swatch files are super smart and they know where they belong. So when they arrive to your iPad, you'll get a prompt to open them in Procreate. They'll automatically load right into your palettes. When I import new swatches, they usually show up on the bottom of my palettes folder. We'll get to them later in this class. You can go back to your folder and airdrop that paper texture to your iPad as well. It'll go directly into your photo library, not Procreate. I'll show you how to bring it into your canvas later on in this class. And finally, you can select those brushes and airdrop them to your iPad too. Just like the swatches, they'll automatically import right into Procreate. Depending on your iPad, your imported swatches can show up in a few different places. Sometimes mine show up in the imported folder at the very bottom of my brush library. Other times they pop up in their own folder. And the other way to get these assets into your iPad and Procreate is if you do it all from your iPad itself. You can click each folder and download the assets individually. First, I'll start with color palettes. Then I'll tap the folder called Procreate Swatches. Then tap that download button up top to download them all at once. Confirm the download, which takes a moment. Then tap the download icon at the very top of your browser. Click the magnifying glass and you'll see your swatches open in your downloads folder. My new downloads usually show up at the very bottom of the list. Tap the zip to unlock it then open the folder and you'll have all of your swatches ready to go. Tap each swatch individually and it will automatically import into Procreate. They show up here in my palettes at the very, very, very bottom of that palette window. So I'm gonna go back and do the same thing to get all my swatches into Procreate. Once you've finished, again, all of those swatches will appear in your palettes, usually down here at the bottom. All right, so once your swatches have imported, let's go ahead and grab those other assets. I'll go back to that Dropbox folder, go back to Blooms and Shrooms, and now I'll grab that paper texture. So click to open the folder, tap download, confirm, and once the load bar finishes, you can click that download icon to view it in your downloads folder. Again, it usually shows up at the very bottom. Mine is showing up arbitrarily right in the very middle, which is just fine. I'll click it once, tap the icon on the top right menu bar, and hit save image. And now that you've saved your paper texture, it'll actually save in your iPad's camera roll, so we'll grab that later when we need it. And last but not least, let's get those brushes. I'll go back to the Dropbox folder, hit Class Assets, open up Procreate Brushes, tap that brush set. You'll probably see a screen like this because just like swatches, Procreate Brushes only show up in Procreate. No worries. Go ahead and download that anyway. Confirm the download. Click your Downloads icon up top, 
and tap that TGTS underscore demo brush set. They'll automatically import right into Procreate. They'll show up here in your brush library, either in their very own folder called TGTS demo, or sometimes imports show up in your import folder at the very bottom. Sometimes you have to do a lot of scrolling to see them. But in this case, mine actually showed up here in their very own folder, which makes it a lot easier. Where the brushes show up just depends on your model of iPad.